Hey what's up guys I am at here and today we have the MT300 smartwatch. It is one of the latest health smartwatches. It comes with an AMOLED display, a stainless steel and metal alloy body and not just that we also get health electrodes on the right side as well as on the back side. It comes with many health related applications inside it and in this video we're gonna be checking out all of its features and we will also see if the sensors are reliable or not. But before we start the video if you are new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated. So let's get right into it and first of all let's find out what comes inside its box and after that we're gonna be taking a closer look on it. So here's the box, let's go ahead and find out what comes inside it. So first of all we have this box inside it in which we have the MP300 smartwatch. It comes with 22mm straps attached to it. We get the magnetic charger here and in the end we have the user manual to get you started with the smartwatch. So here is the first complete look on the smartwatch. As advertised it comes in metallic frame and the material used is metal alloy plus stainless steel. Talking about the back case it is made of PC plus ABS plus medical 316 steel we also have electrodes on the right side this one is not a button and the size of the smartwatch is 54 millimeters into 48 millimeters into 11.6 millimeters if you look at the right side we have two options here this one is a button which can be used to access the menu and to go back it can also be used to scroll and you can also use it for changing the watch faces if you talk about this one this one is not actually a button it's an electrode to wear ecg we also have two electrodes on the back side and we also get the magnetic charging points here and we also have other health sensors and proximity sensor probably here we are surely gonna be testing the health sensors later in the video other than that we have the microphone hole here and on this side we have the speakers hole it is using 22 millimeter straps you can easily remove the straps by pressing this pin and you can use any 22 millimeter straps with it and here is how the smartwatch looks on the wrist what do you think about it let me know in the comment section below talking about the chipset it is using jl7013a chip inside it it weighs around 64 grams and it is said to be ip67 level waterproof and i wouldn't recommend you to use it directly in water for example while taking bath or swimming but it can be normally used while washing hands or in rainy days if you talk about the display it comes with the 1.43 inches AMOLED display with 466 into 466 resolution and I've confirmed in the darkness that it is using a true AMOLED display as it doesn't emit light in the dark. And because of the AMOLED display the overall vibrancy and the colors of the smartwatch are quite good. Other than that the picture clarity and the text clarity is quite good in this smartwatch. Even if you talk about the smoothness, the smoothness is also looking really good. Before we move further, let's talk about all of the languages supported by it. If you look at the home screen we get the control center here then we have the split screen from right to left we have the quick access applications and from bottom to top we have the notifications if you take a quick look at all of the built-in watch faces then it only comes with five built-in watch faces and this one will be replaced by the custom watch face you use from the gallery i will show that to you later in the video these two watch faces are specially dedicated to the health theme since it's a health smartwatch and comes with electrodes to measure the data we have sweeping seconds hand with smooth move movement on the pointer watch faces. The watch faces are not locked and rotating the crown key accidentally will change the watch face. After that if you talk about the screen time and if you go to screen display, in screen on we have a maximum time of 60 seconds so the display can stay on for a maximum of 60 seconds on the watch face and after that it will turn off. If you go to settings and screen display again then if you scroll down we have the always on option which is the always on display. We have two modes for it. One is the analog screen of tile while the other is this digital screen of dial. The screen of dial can stay on forever until the battery dies. It is given quite a low brightness on the screen of dials which is probably for a better battery life but in my opinion still the screen of dial brightness is too low. It also comes with the raise to wake gesture to turn on the display and to turn it back off. Talking more about the theme we get three menu styles inside it. First of all we have this honeycomb menu style which also has this scroll down and the scroll up gesture. It looks quite smooth. It does not have the app opening transition, but it does have the app quitting transition. You can double click the crown key to change the menu style. Here we have the second menu style and in the end we have the list view. I prefer the list view for ease of access as all of the applications show their name here. In the settings we also get the health monitor option. So you can directly turn on heart rate monitor, heart rate alert, blood pressure monitor, blood oxygen monitor. We have components monitoring, then we have temperature, 
scientific sleep, blood glucose monitor, and stress monitor. After that, we also have the switches option here by which you can directly turn on goal alerts and sedentary reminders. And here we have the raise your hand to button up the screen option. So now let's talk about the watch application. So to download it, you can scan the app QR code. It is using the H band application. So we have the dashboard in the application which shows you all of your health data. Then we have the workout tab. We have GPS movement and bracelet movement here. In the end, we have the mind section in which you can set the steps goal and the sleep goal. Then you can also select the units from here. And this application can also sync with Apple Health. If we talk more about it, then you can also receive notifications directly on it. And in this list, we also have the other apps option, which means even if an application is isn't listed here it might send you the notification for it too it does not specifically have to include all of the applications on your smartphone but includes most of the main ones one thing that i really like is that if we go to settings and here scroll down to notifications you can directly turn the notifications on or off for specific applications as well as the other applications it wakes up the display when you receive a new notification and shows a full screen prompt for longer notifications it also supports a little scrolling and talking about the emojis it does not support emojis here's how the notification center looks since whatsapp business is not in the applications listed here so it falls under the category of other applications that's why it is showing this icon for whatsapp business if you want to mute the notifications you can turn on the do not disturb mode and then the notifications will be silently added in the notification center and won't be shown as a prompt on the home screen after that it also has the phone call application and not just that we also have the bluetooth calls option in it you can directly enable it from the control center and by tapping on this icon you need to enable the Bluetooth calls option. It uses the same connection as watch application for Bluetooth calling. Using Bluetooth calls, you can access the keypad on the smartwatch and you can call directly from the smartwatch. And you can also receive calls directly on it. It rings as well as vibrates on the incoming call and also shows the name of the caller and remember that I haven't synced the contacts. You can also silent the incoming call from here and you can accept it from here. Once you have accepted the call, you can increase or decrease the volume level Then you can also mute the call from here and in the end you can hang up the call from here. After that using Bluetooth calling, you can also access the voice assistant directly on it. How's the weather today? It should be sunny today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 33 degrees with overnight lows around 19. And the volume level is quite clear and loud enough to be heard properly. After that, talking about the second option which is media audio. So if media audio is turned on, then if you use the music application to control the media playing on the device, it will shift the sound from the smartphone to the smartwatch and the sound will be played on the smartwatch. If you do not want that, go back to Bluetooth settings and turn off media audio. After that, you can control the media playing on the device and the sound will continue to play on the smartphone and won't be shifted to the smartwatch. After that, we have alarm settings, sedentary reminder then high heart rate alert after that we have the watch face market so here first of all we have the four built-in watch faces then we have the customized watch face so here you can use your own picture from the gallery and after selecting the picture you can choose the font color then you can select the time location we have above intermediate and below then you can choose what is shown above the time and what is shown below the time it does not have the pointer dial option and if you do not like the watch face from the gallery or the built-in watch faces we have a dial market here so it comes with a lot of watch faces inside it and all of the watch faces are available for totally free all you need to do is select a watch face and tap on set as watch face and after that it will start to push the dial to the smart watch and as you can see here in a few seconds you will have that watch face on the smartwatch. After that we have find your watch option using which you can find the smartwatch as the smartwatch will turn on flash and will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it. So here it is showing the signal that it is nearby. As you come closer it will show that the equipment is nearby and as you move away it will show that the distance is far. And in the applications, we also have the find phone option using which the smartphone will start to ring and vibrate even if it's on vibration mode. So you will be able to find your smartphone easily. Then we get the blood pressure, blood glucose and blood component private mode. You can also sync your favorite contacts and add up to 10 commonly used contacts. After that, you can also push weather updates to the smartphone and you can also select the weather format from here. It shows the weather right now, the high and lows of the current day. And if you scroll down, we have 
have the weather for the upcoming hours and if you scroll further we have the weather for the upcoming days you can also use the smartwatch as a bluetooth shutter button and click pictures directly using it in the end the smartwatch can also receive firmware upgrades and after that we have the factory reset or probably the restart option here if you do the nfc tag test then yes the smartwatch can be used as an nfc tag to perform many shortcuts and now it is time to talk about the rest of the applications first of all we have a lot of workout modes here here we have different categories so whichever category you choose it will show you the workout modes which fall under that category after selecting the workout mode you can tap to skip and directly start it but as far as i've checked it does not have the option to set the calories time or distance target after that we get heart rate blood oxygen ecg blood components body composition stress blood pressure body temperature hre and blood glucose level checker and if you use either of these in the air the sensors will stop working right away and the smartwatch will give the error that failed to measure where the watch snug but comfortable so now let's try with a cloth at the back and the smartwatch has actually started to show values which is quite disappointing considering it's a health smartwatch and which actually has electrodes on it and if you use it on a harder surface it still fails to measure the data and detects that it's not your skin which means it does have proximity sensor as well as wear detection but the wear detection sometimes confuses a soft cloth with your skin now let's try with my fingers at the back i'm also gonna check my pulse manually so after i check my pulse manually it was 77 to 78 and according to that it is showing quite accurate values which means that the sensors are probably real and wear detection needs a little optimization if you talk about the ecg checker to measure the ecg you need to keep it on your wrist or on your skin and you need to press this electrode hardly in a few seconds it will start to measure your heartbeat and it will start to show the ecg graph once it finished the ecg measurement on the smartwatch you can also check out the graph on the application i've said it several times and will say it again that it's for reference purposes only and i would never recommend you to rely on the values given by the smartwatch and always use equipment approved by the health specialists if you have the activity application which shows your steps the distance you have walked and the total calories burned so let me take a few steps in the room to see if pedometer works fine or not so i'm back after taking a few steps in the room and i counted 39 steps and it has counted 38 steps remember that it was just casual walking and i was holding the smartwatch still in my hands and the results in the room were quite accurate but do remember that the results might vary when walking or running outside after that we also have the sleep tracker and looking at the weight detection and proximity sensor if you are wearing the smartwatch at night i think that the sleep tracker should work fine then we have met data here in the breathe training application you can select the timing and after that you can tap on start it does not have the option to customize the speed we have cycle tracking application for the females you can update your profile in the application for it to work after that we have the stopwatch application you can tap here to start the stopwatch but as far as i've checked it does not have the option to add laps and you can quit while using the stopwatch and it will continue to run in the background and when you open the stopwatch you will see that the timer didn't stop which is a great option in my opinion but i would have appreciated it more if it had the laps option then we have timer in which we get some predefined times you can tap here to set timer according to your need let's set it for one second now let's start so when the timer ends it vibrates in different patterns for about 5 to 10 seconds but it does not ring you can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch so let's set an alarm you can also select the days if you want to repeat it so now let's wait for it to ring and here's how the alarm is shown it does not ring unfortunately it only vibrates and it also does not have the snooze option it also comes with the calculator application in which we have the basic functionalities like multiplication division subtraction and addition it does not have the percentage option in the end we have games inside it we have a game similar to flappy bird and then we have 2048 and these were all of the applications in the mp300 smartwatch in the end it is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 440 mAh and it can be charged easily by using the magnetic charger provided in the box. Talking about my personal experience it has been amazing. I've been working on this video for about 50 minutes now in which I've continuously interacted with the smartwatch and even when I was not directly interacting with it the display was turned on on the screen of dial. When I started working on the video it was at 77% and now it is down to 72% losing 5% of the battery which equals 1% drainage every 10 minutes. In my opinion it's a great battery life and I think a major reason behind this is the AMOLED display that even though it is using an always on display but because of the AMOLED display and the low brightness level 
it doesn't consume much of the battery so the battery life is surely great in this model and with this we have covered everything in the mp300 smartwatch so guys this was all from today's video and from the mt300 smartwatch so in my opinion it's a quite good smartwatch it comes with an amoled display it also has the always on display option even though in my opinion the brightness of the screen of dial is quite low but i think it should be fixed with a firmware upgrade after that we also get many health sensors inside it we also have ecg check we have blood components checker after that we also get the ecg after that we also get the electrodes on the right side and on the back side for better measurements in my opinion it does have a working proximity sensor as well as wear detection but wear detection does require a little optimization so that it doesn't measure the data on a soft cloth because in my opinion when it confuses something with your skin it just shows random values because when I tried it on my skin, it showed correct values. Other than that, the straps quality and the frame quality of the smartphone is also quite good. If you would like to place an order, I'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below. And I would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for the upcoming videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMat. Peace.